P with a wave sign is for alternating current, used mostly for home appliances. This is 240 volts. Always insert the black lead to the negative first, so there won't be any current circulating to the other lead. B with straight lines and dots, is for DC or direct current, is used for batteries and battery chargers. Here is a laptop charger. Input current 100 to 240 AC volts. Output 19.5 DC volts. And this horseshoe sign is for ohm meter. It is used to measure electrical resistance, and should only be used when the circuit is disconnected from any power supply. The ohm meter works by sending a small current through the circuit and measuring the voltage drop in order to know the resistance. For example, this ignition coil should have a specific ohm reading. If the reading is less, then, then there's a short in the circuit, and if it's more or OL or open loop, then there's a break in the circuit. And this is continuity. It has the same principle and is very similar to the ohmmeter, but it's not a measurement, it's more a yes or no. If there's continuity or electrical path between two points, there should be very small to no resistance. Also, most of the multimeters will make a beep sound when there is continuity. Testing this fuse. If it's good, there should be a beep sound, and if it's blown, it won't make any sound. And this is for the diode test mode, also similar to the ohmmeter. The multimeter sends a small voltage and then measures the voltage drop between the test leads. To test a diode, there shouldn't be any current in the circuit. Most diodes have a forward dropping voltage between 0.5 and 0.8 volts, but shouldn't have any voltage when testing backwards, and the multimeter should display OL. Now testing this alternator internal diode. Disconnecting the battery. Then testing the diode. And this is for testing DC amperes. Here maximum 10 amperes. More than this will damage the multimeter. To test amperes, the multimeter should be connected in series, so the current passes through the multimeter, and then display the measurement on the screen. Switch the red lead to 15 amperes DC. Make sure what you are measuring is not more than the maximum amperes on your multimeter. Now we are measuring the cabin lights. To connect the multimeter in series, Connect one lead to the negative terminal of the battery, and the other to the negative cable of the battery, but the cable must be disconnected from the battery. If you find this video useful, please subscribe.